Uh, the first batch of Indians uh, has has started arriving. In fact, 250 Indians are here. I'm one of uh, them. So I'm, uh, your name and you know must be a sigh of relief uh, yeah. to be back yeah, home. Yeah, very relieved. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm Duti, right. Duti Banerjee. I'm from Kolkata, right. and I'm glad to be back home. Right. Um, and uh, yeah, it was pretty scary in the last three days. We had no idea. Right. I'm a PhD student there in one of the universities, and uh, we are. Really thankful to Indian government for arranging the flight as soon as possible. Right. We were notified in, um, I think, in 24 hours everything was arranged, right. and we are the first batch to come back. Right. There are 18,000 Indians, by the way, yes. and I think six to seven thousand want to come back. Right. So I hope the Indian government, you know. Where exactly were you uh, in Israel? And describe to us. It's not to be described in words, but. You know, I'm sure it's something that really has taken a toll on you in the past so couple of days. Basically, I have been living in Israel for my master's and now in my PhD, so I know how it works uh, during other operations. But this time it's pretty scary right. because of the infiltration from Gaza side. Right. And the situation in the border area <laughs> is really, really scary. Uh, kids have been slaughtered, right. which never happened right. after Holocaust, basically. So uh, it was pretty scary for Israelis and my colleagues they actually recommended me to come back home because right. they don't know what's your going Israeli on. Your Israeli colleagues. And I'm sure, you know, uh, one point that a lot of students here made, that a lot of your Israeli friends were also called up yeah. for war. Yeah. So that must yeah. have been really difficult. I have difficult. a very close friend who is in war right now. I, am, I really hope that he's safe and sound. Right. Uh, and they are in reserve army, so they cannot yeah. say yes. no to it. Uh, and they're fighting for their country. I hope for the best and I hope for peace. Right. And, and I'm sure a lot of students here were saying that, you know, you are safe, but your, your prayers and your thoughts are still uh, with your friends with and your friends. colleagues there. Yes, yes, yes. My boss, uh, her daughters and uh, sons, they're also in the war. So I just hope that they're all safe and sound. A lot of uh, soldiers are killed in the last few days. Um, and I hope that my friends and people I know they are safe and sound. Right. I, I'll, I'll let you go quickly because I yeah, know your sure. family is waiting. But I but you know, just your just your last word. I mean, you know, you've been in the war zone in the past couple of days. Yeah. What do you What do you think? I mean, war is something that's not advantageous to anyone. It's something no. that takes a toll on everyone. It's and stupid. it's stupid. Yes. It's a stupid fight. And I don't know. It's about religion or the land. Uh, it's not clear to me, to be honest because the history there is pretty complicated. Right. Uh, but we don't need war in this world. Yes. We have enough of it already. So I hope for peace and I hope this thing, you know. We don't just, need war yeah, in this don't, Thanks so much, Duti, and and really good to have you Thank back. You. So, Aarti, there you have it. You know, the first batch of Indians uh, uh, has arrived, around 250 of them. Most of them students, actually, uh, more than 200 uh, students, uh, many of them PhD students, master students. A lot of them really uh, commending the efforts of the Indian government and Operation Ajay. Many such operations have been carried out in the past, whether it was in Turkey or Sudan, earlier in, during the Lebanon war as well. Uh, but this first batch has arrived. Uh, almost 6,000 Indians have registered uh, with the embassy to actually make their way back uh, to India. And uh, this was the first chartered flight. Many more such flights uh, will be operating in the days to come. In fact, today we also saw uh, Union Minister Rajiv Chandrasekhar receive a lot of these students uh, here at the Delhi airport. A lot of them, you know, many of them are from Madhya Pradesh, some of them from Jharkhand. So it's not like all of them from, are from Delhi. And uh, all of them telling us, uh, you know, the predicament, the ordeal of being in a war zone, uh, they're, they're waiting to uh, you know, reunite with their families. Uh, it's been a tough time uh, for all of them. Uh, but it's, uh, the, emotion, the emotion here is really palpable. The first uh, batch of Indians from Israel has arrived.